Welcome back to an introduction to LearnDash. In the last lesson, we learned how to use the uncanny LearnDash toolkit in order to create a custom login page that falls in line with our theme through the use of a shortcode. In this lesson, we're going to take it one step further by using the theme my login plugin. This is a plugin that exists within the WordPress repository. So we're going to go to our WordPress dashboard under plugins, add new, and we're going to search for that plugin. We're going to click install and then activate. You'll notice that we have a new area in our admin called TML. So we'll click TML and we'll be brought to the settings page. The first thing we're going to do is make sure that enable theme my login CSS is checked, which will allow us to create custom CSS changes if we want to and have that ability. We're also going to keep the login type as username or email. This will allow users to use the username that they signed up with, which is generally the case for WordPress sites or their email address. Finally, we're going to enable a couple of modules here the enable custom email, the enable custom passwords, the enable custom redirection, and the enable themed profiles. Now we'll go ahead and click save changes. Once we do that, we'll see a list of other settings that we have for TML. So we'll click email and here we can create custom email settings uh, which will be sent to users upon registration and then a new user email that will be sent to admins when somebody is registered on the site. We also have several other emails that we can customize, but if we leave them blank, the default will be used instead. So the only one that we're going to customize here is the new user email. So you can see we've included some information, including some variables that are listed right above the message box. This information will automatically get sent to new users when they register. So we will click save changes here. Now we're going to configure the redirection area. And the first thing we're going to do is create a profile page for our learn dash users. So first we're going to go to pages, add new. We'll call this profile and we will use the learn dash short code uh, for profile, which we have here. And we can also put other content on this page if we'd like, but the profile short code will be sufficient for now. We'll click publish. And if we go to that page, since we are logged in, we'll be able to see our profile. So you could see, our information here. We could see the courses that were registered for and the status, which we haven't officially completed the course yet, just the two lessons. So great. That's exactly what we're looking for. So now we will go to TML redirection and we're going to copy the URL for the page we just created. And under the subscriber box, we're going to check the third option here which will send the user to a custom location that which is their profile page. And then we'll click save changes. So now our users will go to a great place to start when they first log into our website. The last thing we'll do is head over to the pages area because one thing that theme my login does is create two new pages, login and log out. So we're going to click on login and we will see the theme my login shortcode. Now we can create a message here. So for example, if we are offering a free course that requires users to log in, we could say something to the effect of to take this free course, please register. However, because we're offering a mixed bag of courses right now, we have only a paid course, but we can add free courses or more paid courses. We'll just leave the login area for now. One thing that we do need to do on this page is let users know that if they are not registered, that is, they don't have a username and password that they need to register. So we'll give them this message and we will make the link 
our site slash register. So in this case, it's going to be podcast dash course slash dev slash register. We'll click save and we'll click update. We also need to make sure that users are allowed to register. So we will go to the general area under settings and we'll make sure anyone can register is checked and we'll click save changes. So let's go ahead and test this out. So I'm going to open an incognito window in Chrome and go to our login page. You'll see that we have the username and password area and we also have the register link. So I'm going to click register and we have some information here. So I'll fill this form out. I'll click register. All right, so it says registration complete. You may now log in. So let's head over to my email and you'll see that I have the podcast course email. Thanks for registering for the course. Your username is below. The password is what you set during registration. So this is the custom email that we created using theme my login. So now we will log in. And remember, we can log in using the username or the email. And now we see a fresh profile. I'm not registered for any courses right now, but if you offer free courses for anybody who registers, they would show up here. So that's it for this lesson. In it, we learned how to create a custom registration, login, and profile page using Theme My Login. In the next lesson, we're going to learn how to use the course grid add-on to create a custom course list.